Hey, what's going on guys? JS Cards here coming at you with a little bit of a different video. Today I'm going to open up a board game. Uh, something I've been getting into lately is just having some people over, play some cool board games, and uh, my local game store was doing a sale. You could buy one board game and get your next one for 50% off. So I picked up King of Tokyo and Catan. I mean, Catan's a classic fun game. I thought it'd be cool to buy them, play them with some people, you know, have a game night and then I wanted to open these up on YouTube as well and go through all the pieces and just kind of talk about it so yeah these are straight off the shelf unopened we're gonna go through the contents hopefully you guys enjoy this and maybe this will make you want to go pick up a board game and have some fun so here we go let's go through King of Tokyo all right I got the plastic off and here's what you see when you first uh, open up the game we got our instructions, how to play, goes through all the different pieces and everything like that. This is our, our board. So basically you and your friends are different monsters, different creatures, and you want to stay in the board. You want to get into Tokyo City or Tokyo Bay, and you basically just fight it out. You can knock players outside of the board, and you can power up your creatures, you get all these different sort of effects, and you fight each other. It's pretty cool. There's some interesting monsters in here as well. And then these are just like the cutout tokens. And then these let you uh, keep track of like your energy and your health. So we have the king. Oh, who else do we have here? Mecha dragon, that's pretty cool. Cyber kitty, <laughs> the space penguin. And then we have Gigazor. And we have the alienoid. And then we have the actual creatures themselves, our little characters of each one. Cool cartoony artwork, I'm a fan of it. We have our dice of course, so we roll our dice to see you know, what all of our effects and abilities are. And we have the cards. Also included are the stands for your characters, for when they're on the board. And I believe these are to keep track of how much energy you have. So the cards that are included have their energy cost up in the corner and then it tells you what it does. So like uh, death from above. So you pay five energy, but then you get plus two and then you can take control of Tokyo. So your goal is to get 20 victory points, which is the star. So when you see those cards that say plus two stars, it gives you two victory points. So the first one to get to 20 wins. The other way to win would be to eliminate all other enemies, which would be bringing their life down to zero. So there's a few different ways to win. You can have two to six players, so you could do a smaller group or have everyone playing with six characters and regardless no matter how many people you have the games get pretty nuts and it's fun i think it's a great game for all ages as well it's not too complex it's just a fun cool board game i like all the creature types i like their different abilities and just kind of like the different power-ups you can get this retails for $39.99. I got it for half off at my local game store, but I know every once in a while if you go to like a Target or a Walmart, their games might be on sale. So, you know, you might be able to find a deal, but I think for 40 bucks, this is well worth it. If you have played this before, let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you have not played it, let me know if you would like to check it out or what your thoughts are on it so far. If you would like to see more board game openings and discussions on this channel, let me know. I'm a big fan of card games and video games and board games. Thanks for checking out this video. Hit that like button and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.